Thank you for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galen. I'm super excited to be here because it is update season. It's holiday season. It's the best time of the year, and uh, I'm super excited. Now, today, we are covering not only the new Siege Machine, but also some other new information that was, quote, leaked. And uh, the source, just about as reliable as it comes. So let's go ahead and, first of all, take a look at the new siege machine it is called the siege barracks and many of you recognize it from that cryptic image that we saw in the sneak teaser video that supercell put out a couple of weeks ago it seemed like it was floating through the sky many people thought it was the fortnite bus uh well not even close it is going to be a siege barracks now what the heck is a siege barracks well i'll tell you what it is it's basically a lunar lander it contains Pekkas, okay, one Pekka, and a bunch of wizards. Even at level one, it's got six wizards in it, and these are in addition to the CC troops that you could normally stuff into a siege machine. So yes, it does seem to defy the law of physics to fit that many troops in that little building, but it happens, and we're gonna run through the levels real quick. Remember, we are playing on the developer build, so these may not be the final numbers that you see when this goes live. And as you level up the Siege Barracks, it gets more hit points and it gets more wizards, but they are fixed, meaning you can't put anything else in there besides a P.E.K.K.A. and some wizards. So if you're doing an air attack, then this probably is not the best Siege Machine to run. Also, we're going to take a look at it in action, and uh, I have some questions, okay? I mean, it looks cool, it's neat, it's different, it's unusual, but is it really that effective? Uh, it's one of those things where perhaps you, the viewers, the avid players, the avid clashers, will figure out a way that this works. For me, it's just kind of like spam, okay? Honestly, it helps out in spam attacks a lot and in funneling, so we're going to check that out right here. Now, this is just, we're going to drop it here at the bottom. Now, first things first, you cannot drop it in the middle of a base. It has to go on the outside where you would drop troops. Out comes the P.E.K.K.A. That is not a new level of P.E.K.K.A. That is apparently just a new visual look of the existing P.E.K.K.A. level. And then the wizards come out and notice the little timer as it ticks down on the siege barracks itself. It's like the health, that's the health of the building. And when that health drops to zero, not only will all of the wizards have popped out, you notice they come out every few seconds, but then and only then will your troops pop out that you had donated. Now I say then and only then, you can actually deploy it early and we will check that out in just a moment. But as you can see, it can be a little bit difficult to be extremely precise with where that first unit goes, where the P.E.K.K.A. starts funneling. But if you shift it just a little bit to the left, then the P.E.K.K.A. is gonna wander off towards the nearest building to its left, as you can see right there. Notice the cannon. The cannon is firing on the siege barracks itself. So the structure is actually acting as a tank for the other units that come on out. That works out pretty well. Also, that's another reason why hit points are important, why upgrading this siege barracks machine is important. Is it a machine? I mean, I guess maybe the doors are electronic or hydraulic or something like that. Anyway, there it goes and obviously did a pretty good job of clearing out buildings. Now, this is not an ideal spot to drop it. In most cases, probably better to drop it where it can get a bunch of unprotected buildings. Now, watch this one. I'm going to activate it right there. Did you notice? Not a single P.E.K.K.A. or Wizard came out at all because I clicked on it to activate it just like you could do on a blimp, a slammer, or even a wall wrecker if you want it to dump its contents early. The cost here is essentially you're wasting everything that comes inside. The P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards are not going to get a chance to come out if you click it early. Now if timing is critical and you've got something else going on, you can always do that. You let a couple of Wizards out, let the P.E.K.K.A. come out, and then activate. And that is also a possibility so it does kind of provide depth and strategy through the different possibilities of usage. But at the same time, when I played it, I felt like really this lent strength to a spam style attack. If you could get the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards to provide a little bit of funneling and then whatever is left in there to join, say, a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, a bunch of bowlers, and then suddenly you have an attack with over 300 housing space. And that just sounds OP, especially when it's a P.E.K.K.A. Smash style attack. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Galadon, this is right up your alley. This is a YOLO spam style siege machine. And really at this point, 
that's mostly where I see its usefulness, maybe a little bit better than using the wall wrecker to try to get some funneling done on a ground attack. And uh, let's go ahead and try one. So here we've got a baby Town Hall 13. We're gonna go ahead and use a Pekka Smash. This is the Ocho Cueco, which I will take credit for Ocho Cueco. And then of course, other people improved on eight earthquake attacks, but you know, okay. So you can see right here, the P.E.K.K.A., the Wizards, they're funneling the top corner at 9 o'clock. We dropped another P.E.K.K.A. and a couple of bowlers down at 6 o'clock. There's four Earthquakes. Here comes the Spam. And what essentially ends up happening is the bowlers that are just about to pop out of the Siege Barracks at the top of your screen are going to continue around the outside of the base. And that really, oftentimes, is the strength of this attack. Having that three-group army that moves through and takes everything out. You want to get, obviously, most of your units in through the core, but having a few units on the right and on the left is going to ensure the triple, and that is exactly what is going to happen here. A little bit of spell timing and placement. STAP goes a long ways as we get... Okay, well, I realized I wasn't ideal with the free spells there. Whatever, okay. But we did the job, and sure enough, it's going to work out. It's going to be close, but we will get the job done thanks to the bowlers at the top getting pretty far. They got about halfway to 12 o'clock, and at the bottom, you can see the Wishes did a pretty good job as well. Ultimately, it comes down to the strength of our heroes. And man, I just wish they were a little bit stronger. Just a little bit. I don't know. I feel like this attack was too close for comfort. It didn't really feel like I overpowered the base. But I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say that this is going to become the neglected ground siege machine. Just like the blimp is the neglected air siege machine, I feel like this is a very niche style siege that you're going to see more usage of the ram of that wall wrecker instead of this just like we see much more use of the stone slammer instead of the blimp well i don't know we'll, we'll just have to see obviously it goes up to level four it can get pretty powerful does it need balancing immediately probably not but we'll see what happens as time goes on if players do come up with an ingenious way to use this thing perhaps it's going to be amazing and like i said maybe for the spam friendly armies it's a good thing. I kind of definitely lean towards spam, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can get it to work myself. This attack worked, but again, we're not looking at balanced bases, not maxed bases by any means. You guys have no doubt seen some other stuff. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead, before we wrap up this episode, let's take a look at this video that Supercell slash Clash of Clans just put out yesterday. Now, the number one leaker in the history of Clash of Clans turns out to be none other than Supercell because, I don't know about you guys, but I see a lot of stuff here. I see an Expo I've never seen before. I've seen an Inferno Tower I've never seen before. I see a Wizard Tower I've never seen before. And of course, I see some pretty darn good looking walls. Oh, it zoomed out and now I see an air defense that I never saw before. So yeah, um, I thought this information was coming later, but hello, thank you Supercell for slightly spoiling the surprise okay so here we notice it looks like a mortar that's either not upgraded or doesn't go up another level you guys are welcome to pick apart these videos as i'm sure you probably already have walls i say hell yes i love these walls i think these walls are awesome uh i realize that the big split is oh it's not original enough it's not different enough i like it okay so but you know what i, I will also admit this I'm easily amused. I like a lot of different things. And so something like this, it's not super hard for me to go, wow, look at that, man. It's dark, it's epic, it's amazing. And I don't know, maybe it's just my hype for Town Hall 13. I will let you guys decide. I'm gonna put a poll up on my YouTube page asking you guys what you think of the new appearance of Town Hall 13. And we'll see what the community has to say. Now you will notice I slowed this video down, this clip, and that's because we had to get the video to 10 minutes because I need to put an ad in there somewhere so that I can pay for the gems that I'm gonna be spending to upgrade to Town Hall 13 max on the first day. You, you guys understand this by now, right? I'm just being honest with you. I'm gonna have three Town Hall 13 accounts day one of this update, so help me out here. Watch all the way to the end. Oh, wait a minute. You did watch all the way to the end because you're the trash take alpha and I love every gosh darn last one of you. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galitos! Galitos! Down hall 13! Dark blue! I hate it! Now wait, I love it! It's amazing! Now it's ugly!
No, no, it's beautiful, Galidon. No, White, I'm not sure.